Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. I recently found some old videos of my piggies and decided to share a video I filmed but never got a chance to upload, which was grooming my long-haired guinea pig named Mop, who was a Peruvian guinea pig. And definitely it took a lot of work to get her to look like this. So my grooming place of choice was always the kitchen sink because I found it the easiest. I used to put a um, veggie cutting board to cover up the hole just so the pee doesn't fall in and it was easy for me to move her around and uh, wash her that way. So this is the grip hand. You can either put your two fingers over the piggy's head and under its face like this or you can do it under the two paws. One goes in front of the paw and the other one goes on the other and then the thumb goes on the back of the neck and this will help secure your piggy if your piggy is very skittish. Now Mop used to be groomed and bathe about every three months because of her really long fur because it was really easy for her to get dirty and I had to trim it and make sure it didn't get matted. So she was very used to being groomed and as you can see I don't have to really hold her much because she's so used to it she's not scared or doesn't mind it at all. But if you're washing your piggy, especially for the first time, two tips. Don't put your piggy in deep water because they will panic. So as you can see here, she can feel the bottom of the sink and that makes her feel better. Second thing, if they do panic, you could also put a towel on the bottom of the sink to keep them from sliding around. And third tip, always hold your guinea pig if it's their first time because they can panic and run and fall or jump out. So better be safe than sorry. The other thing to keep in mind is never get your the piggy's ears, eyes, mouth, or nose wet and use a shampoo that is pet friendly. So I used a kitty hypoallergenic shampoo. So here I am drying piggy. Uh, if you have a short haired piggy that might have to be the only step you have to do. Just dry them and then they will air dry on their own. But because she was Miss Sassy Fancy Fluffy Diva, I had to blow dry her. Now. Um, Always make sure you do it on low heat or just in general, make sure you cool it every now and then. Don't use high strong heat. Also get your piggy used to it. Get him used to the sound of the blow dryer. Don't just use it right away because you don't want to startle them. As you can see, he, he's just chilling. She was very used to all this. I got her um, accustomed to all the grooming by giving her lots of treats and doing things slowly. And here, oh, tummy, tummy drying time, so cute. So she was very used to all this craziness I'd make her do, but it was very important in keeping her healthy and clean and in good shape. So while I did not get any footage of me trimming her hair, I did film her getting all her favorite vegetables, which is how I get her adjusted to all this grooming. I make this a really, really positive experience for her by giving her all her favorite vegetables so she associates being groomed with something positive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Pop is no longer with us. She did pass away from a very old age when she had cancer. I had to uh, mutinize her, which is really sad. But I'm really glad that I have some videos of her to remember her by and that I made this video share with you guys so you can help take care of your piggies and give them a happy and wonderful life because piggies are really great. So thanks for watching guys, be sure to check us out on Patreon where you can support the show now that we do two videos a week and help this channel grow with your awesomeness and get some art.